Hey guys, it's John from Album Review TV, and today I am reviewing the new Yellow Card album. It's called Southern Air, and it's coming out August 14th. The leak came out a little while ago. It actually happened after the band started streaming the entire album on Hopeless Records' YouTube page, so everyone got to hear it a little bit ahead of time. I've been super excited for this album ever since hearing the lead single, Always Summer, which came out back in May great song uh, musically it's really strong and overall on this entire album I feel like this is the strongest the band has sounded as a whole pretty much ever I think it's on par at least with their last album when you're through thinking say yes now I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I don't feel like Southern Air is quite as great as when you're through thinking say yes not dissing the album by any means but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there when you're through thinking say yes is my favorite album by Yellow Card and Southern Air while just as strong as it musically I feel like there was a lot more standout tracks overall on when you're through thinking say yes this is Yellow Card's second album since coming back from their hiatus they took a little time off came back with the amazing When You're Through Thinking Say Yes, critically acclaimed, fans loved it, debuted at number 19 on the Billboard 200, so hopefully Southern Air finds similar success. And instrumentally, this album is probably the strongest and tightest they've ever really sounded as a whole group. I feel like Mackin and Key, Mendez, Parsons are all on the same page here and even new member Josh Portman, who just took over on bass after their last bassist departed after uh, When You're Through Thinking Say Yes, I really feel like, as a group, they just really came together and made something awesome on this album. Now, the turnaround time after the last album, you feel like, oh god, they're putting out another album so soon, is it gonna be just a fast, rushed album? No, they just had so many ideas, I feel like they wanted to get them out to the public as fast as possible and with Hopeless Records and more independent style record label, it's easier for them to do that than when they were on Capitol Records. Now lead singer Ryan Key, who writes all of the lyrics for the albums, I feel like he's definitely grown as a lyricist. He's writing a lot of great stuff these days, and especially the song Telescope, which he dedicated to his late aunt Stephanie, who passed away last year. Uh, he really came through on that song and wrote something great, and the guest spots on that song and on the album I, I was a little bit, you know, hesitant about that because I, I sometimes I feel like those are just, you know, just like unnecessary sometimes. But he really, you know, made it work. He picked out some vocalists that really fit the song. And on the song Telescope, he's got Cassidy Pope, Tay Jardine from We Are the In Crowd, and he's got Alex from All Time Low, all featured on that song Telescope. And in the chorus, the way their voices all kind of come together. It just sounds right and you know like, oh, this is why he's got the guest spots. And he's got the guest spot on Here I Am Alive as well from Tay from We Are The In Crowd. Key had previously dedicated the song Sing For Me to his aunt, and but she passed away and the music video was kind of dedicated to those who had lost loved ones. That was probably one of my favorite videos of last year. And now that his aunt has passed on, he, I, I feel like he really wanted to dedicate a lot of this album and the positiveness of the album to her because she was such a big influence to him, one of Yellow Card's first fans. She was always there for him, and he just keeps continuing to give back to her by dedicating songs to her. The album just generates a sense of newfound confidence from the band, even a step up from the last album, which was very confident in itself, but just... Musically, like I said, they're very, very strong. Now, as for my favorites on the album, Awakening is my first favorite. That's the first song on the album, and they really, really know how to get your attention. They're doing it right with the, for putting these songs first on the album. Previously, they put The Sound of You and Me, which was my favorite song off of their last record, When You're Through Thinking Say Yes. And now, probably my favorite song off of this album is Awakening, and it's the first song again and it just grabs your attention. It starts off slow, builds into something awesome, the crashing guitars, and then there's the breakdown towards the end of the song, and I don't know, it's just an overwhelmingly awesome song that generates a lot of good vibes for me. Now my second favorite on the album would be Always Summer. It was the single 
Uh, it's the perfect song for summer, and you can clearly see that in the title pretty much. And Mackin, Sean Mackin, the violinist of the group, really shines on this song. You can hear it when the violin solo kicks in near the end of the song. It's just amazing as he soars over the song. Telescope is another one of my favorites. I already mentioned that song. I'm not going to go into detail again there. Rivertown Blues is another favorite of mine. That's a fast-paced and upbeat song with an unexpected but awesome solo from guitarist Ryan Mendez, and it sounds crazy cool. I wasn't expecting it all the first time I heard that song. Definitely one of my favorites on the album, and easily one of the most catchiest songs on the album. Now, my next favorites are A Vicious Kind, Surface of the Sun, which is a very, pretty much, more rock song, more than pop punk, I would say, but it's still a really cool song, and I like it a lot. And Southern Air rounds out my favorites. That's the title track on the album, closes out the album with a really positive vibe, and really I feel like that song is probably, a lot, like a lot of this album, is dedicated to their band's home state of Florida, and hence Southern Air. Now, another track I wanted to comment on was the song 10. While it's not one of my personal favorites on the album, uh, am I the only one that generate, it feel like it generates kind of a country vibe to it, if you know what I'm saying? Just some of the instrumentation sounds a little twangy, if you will. I'm not dissing it, but it's a little bit weird for me. The song is a good song. It's kind of a raw, stripped down song for sure, but it's still a little bit weird to hear the kind of those vibes, but I guess it has to live up to its name of Southern Air, and we are in the South, the home of country music, I guess you could say. But overall, this album just generates a lot of positive vibes, a lot of good feelings. It's just a really big album, musically, if you will. It's just some of these guitars and violins just soar. Overall, I really did enjoy this album. Not quite as much as the last album, When You're Through Thinking, Say Yes, but still. I'm going to go ahead and throw out a 4.7 out of 5 for the rating on this album. And I know a lot of you guys requested this album to be reviewed, so what do you think about it? And uh, the question of the day, I guess for this album, is uh, what are your favorite songs off of this album? And I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Please remember to subscribe. Owl City Midsummer Station will probably be my next review.